Well, hello everyone. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to join us for the first of what we will be having many more of, our Dermo 28 Connect webinars. Today's focus is all about exfoliate, hydrate, and tighten, or otherwise firm, using hydroxy acids with Dermo 28. My name is Charmaine and I oversee the education as well as the business support for Dermo 28 Canada and I am delighted that you have taken the time to join us. Even if you're not watching this live, but you're checking this out on a later time when you are able to fit it into your schedule, we appreciate the time that you've taken to join us. And this whole concept has really been birthed out of the desire to offer ongoing support to IBI grads, IBI students, and or anyone who is inquiring about Dermo 28 and is a professional skin therapist that would really like to develop more confidence and inquire about the formula. So we're here to support you. Now, before we jump into what's going to be a great session today, we've got a demonstration that's going to be coming up a little bit later on, and we're going to be finishing off with our clothes and our next steps. I wanted to just touch on a few housekeeping items so that we can maximize the results that we want to achieve today. If you're watching on a tablet or on your smartphone, we encourage you to go ahead and turn the brightness of your phone or tablet up to maximum. That way when you see your demonstration, it'll stand a little bit more visibly and more impactful for you. And try to look at it on a landscape format. So turn it towards the side so that you can see the full range of the demonstration. Also, the format of today's webinar and all of our webinars at this point are set up that it's for you to see the demonstration, see the visual presentation, hear me fully, but you cannot speak and you are not seen. There is no, um, no one is seen who is on here. However, what we do um, really want to encourage is that if you have questions or if you have inquiries that you would like to um, reach out to me concerning, you're more than welcome to email me at the email address that you see that just came up. Charmaine at dermo28.ca is where you can contact me. Anything that we cover today, anything about Dermo 28 products or something that's not even covered today, I would be happy to uh, get back to you, to correspond with you. And that email, I'll pop up at the end of our session again, because I really want to make sure that you are able to inquire um, whenever you feel the need to. So I'll follow up with you for sure, all right? And without further ado, let's jump into the topic of the day. So I wanna begin by asking you a set of questions. What do, you're gonna see an array of different skin conditions before you, what do these conditions all have in common? So I know you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know we're talking about hydroxy acids, but let's take a look at all of these skin. So at the far left, you're going to see at the top left, this client has more of a sensitive, delicate skin. Hmm. Then when we make our way over to the middle, you're seeing more of a dull, lackluster skin and someone who actually has more of a lifelessness in their skin complexion. Towards the right, we're now looking at a chest area that's manifesting uneven skin tone, hyperpigmentation, and a little bit more of a coarser, leathery appearance. Towards the bottom left, now we're taking a look at a flaccid skin, loss of tone, some onset wrinkles that are starting to take place, and of course some aging spots or lentigines. In the middle, we're taking a look more of an inflammatory skin, inflamed lesions, both pustules as well as papules, and it's really kind of looking like it's an angry skin, an angered, congested skin. Let's jump down to the bottom though, just underneath that, you'll see a forehead swatch, and it, there's no inflammation there, but you can see that the skin has something trapped underneath for sure. So this skin also has a little bit more of a rougher texture also. And finally, let's jump over to the final picture on your far right at the bottom. That's a dry skin. So you can see the scales. You can see there's no moisture whatsoever. It's truly parched. And, uh, you know, I will just say this. A dry skin versus a dehydrated skin are very different. Most people, if not all, are experiencing dehydration. Dehydration has to do with a lack of water. And dryness has to do with a lack of oil. So I like to say that we want to feed a dry skin. You want to nourish the skin 
that's dry with the nutrients, the vitamins that it needs. And a dehydrated skin, we want to give it its water and lock that water within the skin so that it can stop thirsting. So without going ahead of myself, you'll see here that all these skin conditions can absolutely benefit by the use of hydroxy acids. Now, in Dermal 28, we have chosen not to use mechanical exfoliants. There's nothing wrong with mechanical exfoliants, and that's really just more of a, a mechanical grit and abrasion that you apply on the skin and manipulate to move the outermost skin cells and slough them off. Very effective. But we have found through our research that it's limiting. So for instance, your sensitive dehydrated skin, your inflammatory skin, your inflamed lesions with acne, and even your flaccid, more looser skin cannot really benefit with mechanical grit. So we figured instead of going with limited results, why not go with an array of results and get more bang for our buck? So hydroxy acids are amazing for every single skin condition and every single skin type. And not only do they help to remove dead skin cells, but they also act as agents to carry other ingredients deeper and more effectively into the skin. So Let's take a closer look at the cocktail of hydroxy acids that Dermal 28 likes to use. We love to use an ensemble of them. And obviously, many of this for you, this is review, um, but alpha and beta hydroxy acids are what we like to use, a combination of the two categories. So your alpha hydroxy acids are your smaller molecular structures that are smaller in size, and they actually penetrate a lot swifter and deeper into the skin, into the stratum corneum. And the choice hydroxy acids in the alpha category that we love to use are glycolic, as well as lactic. Now, I'll tell you, we love these two because they're amazing for treating aging, aging concerns, premature aging, prevention, all of the above. And we use a varied amount of percentages in our various formulations, as you're going to soon find out. Glycolic helps to stimulate collagen production. It also helps to slough away uh, dead skin cells that are residing at the surface of the skin that hold on to pigmentation. But speaking of pigmentation, lactic acid is a choice favorite because it will literally inhibit the tyrosinase enzyme that's responsible for causing pigmentation to flow. So it helps to brighten the skin and hydrate a dry skin as well. Jump down to its partner in crime, the beta hydroxy acids. They're larger in molecular size and the choice that we love to choose from are salicylic acid, which I call it the triple threat acid. It is anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and it loves to find where the oil is hiding right in the mouth of the follicle. Love, love, love salicylic acid. And you'll find that in your formulas for treating congested, oily, and even inflamed skin. And last but not least, your mandelic acid. Mandelic is going to help to give more elasticity to the skin, help to hydrate and nourish while helping expedite that cell renewal. So a little bit more in detail, you'll take a look at the potency of alpha and beta hydroxy acids here on this next slide. And you'll see where it's positioned against the swatch of the epidermis. So the dermis being underneath the epidermis, you can take a look and see that beta hydroxy acids sit more around the top. They're larger molecules, they make their way through the stratum corneum, and they're making their way through the intracellular uh, adhes adhesions within the cells, and it's disadhering what conjoins those dead skin cells together so that they release and the skin cells slough off. The renewal is improved. But if you take a look a little bit deeper, its counterpart, the alpha hydroxy acids, it's great because it's going to, as a smaller molecule, make its way deeper into the epidermis. And you can check out that squiggly cell down there. That's what we call our melanocyte, as you know, finger-like protrusions, emptying out pigment into the keratinocytes around. So the alpha hydroxy acids are phenomenal like lactic to inhibit the enzyme responsible for causing that melanocyte to go haywire and spew out pigmentation. 
So you can see where they're kind of positioned visually, and that kind of helps sometimes as well to explain that to your clients if, the, if they inquire about it. So there's a plethora of benefits, as I alluded to earlier on, when it comes to the use of chemical acids increases cell turnover, it helps to get the juices flowing, and it idealizes the rate at which your client or you should be experiencing cell renewal. Dermo 28, 28 speaks to the ideal rate at which our skin cells are to renew. But no matter what age that client is in, we want him or her to experience the ideal rate, and we want to increase that cell renewal because it slows down as we age. It smooths the skin. They also brighten the skin and firm the skin, as we talked about momentarily. And firming, hydrating, every time you renew the skin cells, new hydrated cells come to the surface. It decongests the skin as we saw, like that forehead swatch that has trapped impurities underneath. It's going to help to unclog the clogging of the follicles. And last but not least, my absolute favorite, it's going to help the other actives, the cosmeceutical ingredients we love to use in our formulations to penetrate well. It's like as if you had an alpha hydroxy acid, let's say a glycolic, and this is like a hook. It can act as a vehicle. And that glycolic acid can not only make way for other ingredients to make their way into the skin and do what they need to do, but it acts as a vehicle hooking on to the the, uh, the additional ingredient, the um, cosmeceutical ingredient, and it delivers it deeper into the skin to be able to do what it's been functioned to do, to calm, to soothe, to help to stimulate collagen, like peptides and what have you. So there are multiple benefits for the use of hydroxy acids, as you can clearly see. So are you ready for a quick quiz? Here you are. Nothing hard, so don't worry about it. But the first question I want to ask you, and just kind of think about it, because I know you can't really speak in this format, but does the strength of an acid solely depend on the percentage of the acid? So how much acid we're using? Hmm. Think about that for a bit. Well, the answer is no. It doesn't just depend on the percentage of an acid, everyone. It actually depends on more than that. It depends on the percentage and the pH level of that professional acid or that acid. So we'll have more on that in a few moments. But my next question to you is this. Consumer grade acids or cosmeceutical grade acids. So con consumer being what your client can access, what he or she can go and buy and purchase at the drugstore or order online bypassing a professional skin therapist, consumer grade acids or cosmeceutical grade acids. What really is the difference? Well, let's take a look at that. The answer is consumer or cosmetic grade acids have a buffer of a higher pH level. Whereas cosmeceutical grade acids, they support a lower pH level, therefore, promoting a more efficacious exfoliation for the end result. For you as a professional skin therapist, you would be using a cosmeceutical grade, usually positioned at a lower pH. If this is great review, kind of sounding a little bit hazy, let's dig in a little bit deeper to quantify what I've just shared with us. Let's take a look at the pH scale. So the potential for hydrogen is what the pH scale stands for. And it is vital for us to understand as professional skin therapists that the skin itself, a normal skin as you can see here, is positioned in the pH scale between 4.5 and 6.5. Now at number one, you see battery acid. Nobody wants to go there. But to give you an example, your one to seven really speaks of an acid mantle, an acidic skin. And when the skin is sitting in that acid category, it is stronger, it's defended, it's bacterial resistant, it's constricted, the follicles are closed. That's where we want a healthier skin, a normal skin to sit in that range. But when you go into the alkaline side, you're gonna to start to see at number 14, there's like liquid Drano, 
Or if you remember, think about when you go into your salon to get your hair colored or a hair perm, you're gonna notice that smell. That's that strong alkalinity. Everything in the alkaline category makes the skin vulnerable, defenseless, open, dilated, sensitive, and red. So we don't want the skin living there. In fact, soaps actually sit around 10. But notice water. Now water is smack dab in the middle, it's number seven, it's your neutral, it's your pure water, which sounds great. But every time we rinse, every time we use water, you'll be seeing me do this in the demonstration today, but every time we implement water in the regimen to remove formulas, we slightly shift an acidic skin closer towards alkalinity. Can you see that? So that's important for us to understand because the heart of Dermal 28, key hero products and our uh, hero dynamic duo is really in understanding that we need to optimize the pH of the skin. Make sure it is always within that range of a 4.5 to a 5.5. Let's take a little bit of a closer look as that pertains to acids now. So based upon what we just covered, you answer for yourselves which of these two options are more efficacious or stronger. 25% glycolic acid, which sounds pretty impressive, at a pH of 4.1, or 15% glycolic acid, a little bit less, at a pH of 3.5. Hmm. Well, the answer is, 15% glycolic at a pH of 3.5. The reason being is because the skin is already at that 4.5 range. So if you have someone who has, you know, gotten a higher percentage, glycolic acid is so impressed with the high percentages, 40% or what have you, FDA and Health Canada, so FDA is in the United States and Health Canada is obviously here for Canada, legislates that a consumer and hydroxy acid must be buffered at a safe pH in order to control consumer use, to keep the end consumer in mind. So therefore, a little bit of a lower percentage, in this case, glycolic at 15 at a 3.5, which is allowed for a professional to use, is going to yield a greater result. Let's do another one with your lactic acid. 5% lactic acid at a pH of 3.0 versus a 10% lactic acid at a pH of 4.5. I know you've got this. So you obviously know it's 5% lactic acid at a pH of 3.0. That's the most efficacious. So we want to bear that in mind when it comes to professional uh, uh, peels and professional acids and when you're having that conversation with your clients in the future as well. So with that as our key understanding, our dynamic duo, Crema Achida and pH regulator, which you'll see me use shortly, is the creme de la creme. It is going to idealize the environment for an acid mantle to prep any skin for exfoliating treatments and or any of the other treatments that you want to focus on. It will optimize results for you every single time. It is your pre-treatment. You never want to rush or skip through. It's going to set the skin's tone, make it more receptive, more inviting for your exfoliants, for your acids, and for your other therapies that you'll include in your treatment. Love, love, love this. And you'll see me use this on Katie, my model who's ready and rearing to go in a few moments. So meet our peels, or rather be reacquainted with our peels if you've used them before. So Dermo 28, we offer two professional strength peels. Our first one is our Vita Peel, which is a phenomenal uh, professional peel that carries a glycolic acid of 20%, everybody. Now this one is at a pH of 3.5. Now 3.5, 
that's pretty impressive. Again, we've got a higher level, 20% glycolic acid, but that's not all. We also have retinol, vitamin A, which stimulates collagen production, helps to target pigmentation, evens out the skin tone, addresses all the needs of an aging skin. It's kind of like your quintessential ingredient. And we also have rosehip fruit extract. Rosehip is also known as winter rose or rose of winter. It is a natural non-acid ingredient that helps to expedite natural cell renewal. Plus, we've thrown in our tocopherol, our vitamin E, to really condition and nourish the skin. But its partner in crime as well is your VitaPeel Plus. So it looks just like VitaPeel, but your VitaPeel Plus is a 30% glycolic acid. It also has a lactic of 5% and a salicylic of 1%. I call those a triple threat as well. Those three working together all at a pH of 3.0, lower on the pH scale. So if you're just getting to know a client's skin, you want to begin with VitaPeel. You may not want to just jump to VitaPeel Plus. Gauge the client's response factor to the use of this VitaPeel take a look at their skin, monitor, and on your repeat and follow-up treatments. When you're ready, when you kind of feel that at your discretion, you're ready to advance them to the VitaPeel Plus. You've got your rose hip in there as well, got your ret retinol, your vitamin A, and of course you've got your tocopherol. Now, you'll notice that when I'm using this on Katie, that the the, the viscosity is a thicker viscosity. It's not a runny texture. So it's not going to run into the eyes. Our method of application is going to be a little bit different as you will soon see. And uh, it's really able to ex uh, execute great control when you're applying it onto the client. And I'll show you that in a few moments as well. But I'll tell you, don't forget prepping formula first. That is going to degrease or defat the skin of any substances that could hinder the efficacy of your peels. I like to say if uh, your peels are the Batman, this is your Robin. You want to make sure that you throw this into the loop as well. Prep the skin properly. And at Dermal 28, we always advise that you avoid the use of alcohol to defat the skin. Yes, it's going to defat the skin, but it also strips the skin and it compromises the skin of its health and throws it into defense mode. So here we have astringents, yes, but we also have gentle conditioning elements that never leave a residue on the skin. I mean, you've got to feel it to believe it. It conditions the skin, but it has completely and effectively removed all fat, debris, and lipids from the skin. So that you get the maximum benefit from your peels. All right. So if that was not great enough, we also want to talk about this. Now, I was just so excited about this in terms of our peels with benefits. And this is an advantage that you, the professional skin therapist, can really have at your leisure and at your discretion. These are your professional therapy treatments. Absolutely amazing. They're like your hybrid peel and therapeutic treatment all in one. And I'll go through them all, but all except one of them, they all have acids. Now they're not as strong as your Vita Peel, but they are essential in introducing a layering approach to your client when you're ready to shift them to another level or shift them down and kind of really customize a true series of treatments for your clients. So our professional therapy, aqua therapy treatment, again, these are in your box treatments, which are so convenient because they offer 20 sachets and they have a part one and a part two, all except one of them. Your Unica has three sachets, which I'll show you in a bit as well. So you've got your aqua, as I mentioned, which is all about hydrating the skin. And uh, this is for every single skin condition. Everybody can benefit because everybody is dehydrated. So you mix these two together and they must be mixed together. One has your acids and one has your emulsions to truly give the therapy benefit to the treatment. And then if you go down one, you've got your comfort, which is the pink that I just showed everybody. You've got a part one as well as a part two. Mix them together in your bowl and you can apply. 
Now, my favorite, because this is one of my major conditions myself that I deal with, and I love to use this, and this is your Illumina. So your Illumina is your brightening treatment. So this has your lactic acids. It has your ability to brighten and even out luminosity, improve radiance of the skin. And we don't use any hydroquinone or any bleach in our Illumina formulations. Now, our Unica, which is the black box, I know you're waiting for me to get down there, uh, that's down here and it's absolutely incredible because it treats all rounds of aging, 360 degrees of aging in fact. And your middle sachet is your orange, which is your stabilized vitamin C powder that we mix with our acids and our emulsions. Amazing results to treat chronological aging manifestations of um, environmental aging and manifestations of hormonal aging as well. Now you'll note that one of the ones I just skipped that has an asterisk is the only one without acids. And that is your wrinkle therapy in the new triage line. Now, the reason why we've omitted acids here is because we really want to maximize the plumping effect the volumizing effect in the skin. We really want to treat those deep and even moderate wrinkles with food, feeding that skin back to life. And the beauty about this is that you can integrate this into any of your other treatments so that you can get great results in between a peel. Maybe you want to see her and have her not have a peel that particular time. Then focus on using pro wrinkle therapy. And the last but not least, we have our Pura, and this is for purifying an oily, congested skin. Also, inflamed lesions. I'm talking inflamed papules and pustules. You've got anti-inflammatories in here. You've got your salicylic acid, all of the great stuff that we covered a little bit earlier on that are really going to further treat therapeutically an inflamed uh, bacterial, bacterial infected skin. So absolutely amazing even for your oily skin. But the best is still yet to come. What I love about the layering approach with Dermo 28 is that you can change it up. You never have to give the same treatment twice and it's completely at your discretion, at your professional insight that you're noticing in your client's skin. So what I mean by that is let's say you want to get to know the skin and you don't even think she's ready for Vita Peel. You can start off in your treatment by going with your therapy treatments, of course, your hybrid peels. So this is not as strong. It is a 15% blend of hydroxy acids at a pH of 3.5. So it's not as strong as your Vita Peel. So you can do that with any of your choice professional therapy treatments. Or if you want, you can go ahead and swap it around. So if you think she is ready to start with here, and then now you're ready to advance her and give her a little bit more of a specific corrective approach on what condition you want to focus on, then you're going to throw in your peel. So you can either do either or. But if you are going to do both, everyone I want to stress, and you'll see me do this on Katie, is you always want to start with your Vita Peel. If you are using the two of them, it's got to be the Vita Peel first, then you would follow up with this. But if you're separating them in treatments, you can choose which order you want to go based upon what the skin of the client um, is able to uh, receive, in your opinion. Okay? So that is our quick summation of our professional lineups within our acids, within Dermal 28. But, you know, professional treatments are left incomplete unless you have recommended for a client to take something home and continue the progress, continue the results at home. I mean, the worst thing you want is for her to go home and be using soap and water and undoing everything that you have achieved in that treatment. So here is a quick summation of our key complexes. So our complexes and professional, they look like this but you're seeing the retail on the actual screen. But our complexes are literally the serums within Dermal 28. So to treat aging, as you can see, hyperpigmentation, loss of tone, um, uneven skin tone, 
really, you're starting to see lent joints and age spots, all degrees of uh, premature aging and aging. Let's go with the unica, and that is your radiance complex. Ladies and gentlemen, it has glycolic acid, lactic acid, as well as salicylic and retinol, the pure form of retinol vitamin A. Now, this must be used at nighttime. Nighttime is when your acids are not photoaging um, or photosensitizing. Retinol must be used at night because it actually works with that circadian rhythm to ensure that the skin is promoting more collagen. So love the radiance complex. For your dry, parched, really lackluster skin with wrinkles, devitalized, let's throw in a different version of vitamin A. Now, this is your retinyl palmitate, which is a derivative of retinol A, so it's safe for the daytime. This is your intensive complex, amazing in the nutriage line, and it is fantastic to help to build collagen because of vitamin C, brighten the skin, and of course, the unique plant stem technology. So plant stem cell technology is going to help to stimulate collagen production and really give a kick to those fibroblastic cells. Our next one here on the list is one of my fan faves, and that is to treat acneic and congested skin. Love the results that this gives, and it's your exfoliating active complex. Glycolic acid is there. Your salicylic, remember, it's going to help to give anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and oil-loving um, properties. It's going to travel down the follicle. See that inflamed skin picture? And you can also see the one that doesn't have inflammation, but there's definitely congestion at the mouth of the follicle. It's going to open that up, throw in your licorice there. It's a great anti-inflammatory as well as your antioxidant. And for all skin types, which are you and me, all of us, all of our clients, you can really yield phenomenal results by using the rejuvenating complex. And your professional is called your revital complex, and it's in the aqua line. For all skin types, glycolic salicylic acid to help to renew, and it's going to treat, look at those pictures, yes, you're looking right, congested skin. Did you know at the root of all congested skin, the real problem is really dehydration. Because when you're able to give the skin the water that it needs, the skin can actually self-regulate and recalibrate and really normalize again. So always check to see if the skin has ample hydration. Find out what they're doing. And of course, your vitamin C is great to really give a boost of brightness and to stimulate collagen production as well. Sensitive skin, cuperose as well as your sensitive skin and inflamed skin, you want to make sure that you're going to hold ahead and use that. And the next we also have our sensitive skin. So for cuperose, sensitive and inflamed inflammatory lesions that you might be experiencing, well, in particular, like more rosacea or eczema or even psoriasis, you have the recovery complex. This is really like your antidote for truly sensitive skin or sensitized skin. Arganian oil, olive oil to truly nourish, and your ruscus extract is amazing to truly help to really constrict those dilated capillaries and strengthen that. And of course, there you see it, the glycolic acid to act as a vehicle to bring those soothing properties into the deeper layers of the skin. Then, of course, we have none other than our youth complex. This has great properties of wild rose, hyaluronic acid, healing panthenol, and that's going to help to give a lift to a dull, lifeless skin that needs a little bit more of a radiance. It's lost that glow. For that dull skin, you really want to go with your youth complex. Only available in your retail, but amazing results that it offers. And of course, for our hyperpigmented skin, you've got your brightening complex with niacinamide that inhibits or prevents the production of pigmentation. Bearberry to brighten, vitamin C to illuminate and build collagen. And of course, within that whole brightening system, you've got your lactic acid as well. And that's your in, in your Illumina brightening line. And last but certainly not least, everyone, we have 
for the lackluster, dull skin, early signs of aging, we've got our ProAge, which is our Day C complex. Everybody needs a vitamin C serum. And this here, we have it. It has your wild rose extract. It also has your vitamin C, as well as your algae-rich amino acids amazing results for really giving a lift to the skin, giving a little bit more of a brightness, especially at the close of a summer as we're coming to. So now that we have covered quite a lot, you've been extremely patient, we've gone through a professional lineup, we've gone through all of our key complexes or serums that are gonna further support the use of hydroxy acids to hydrate, to firm, to give a plethora of different benefits to the skin. Let's shift now and go into our demonstrations. Okay, so welcome back everyone. Thank you so much for your attention in the first portion of what we covered in terms of our exfoliation, professional options, and retail options. So now I've got Katie all set and ready on the treatment bed. And um, even though I have her for a full treatment, and this is what we're assuming for demonstrational purposes, we are just fast forwarding through the treatment and we will assume that she has already cleansed her skin, which I have already made sure that it is cleansed. Uh, we've had the consultation, we would have done our analysis after our first cleanse double cleanse the skin to ensure that we've removed all makeup-based debris as well as your um, environmental debris and clean the actual skin. And um, really assured our client that we are going to address the concerns that we discussed in the consultation. Absolutely paramount to every effective treatment. With that being said, I have already washed my hands, but it also is very important, and again, since you're just seeing me now, to sanitize your hands in the presence of your client. You want them to know that you're taking every necessary precaution for hygiene and practicing good um, bedside manner as well, obviously. So with that, let's get underway. So we have cleansed the skin. We've done all of that. We've also toned the skin because we would have rinsed our cleanser. And let's jump right into our dynamic duo. As we mentioned, we talked about Crema Achida being our first product to really help to minimize irritation, to increase the strength of the skin, and that dilated, sensitive skin is going to be constricted and fortified. Now, this is a great, um, almost like a massage medium. You can use it as a treatment to truly help to add further relaxation to the client's experience, but we know what we're doing. We want to apply, you can see I've just mixed that between my two hands. We're going to apply that to the client's chest, to her neck, as well as to her entire face area. Obviously, um, I have also noted, and you may or may not be able to see that in your visual right now, but we are seeing a little bit of pinking in uh, Katie's skin. So we know that maybe she's had a little bit of sun, and I know that we had a beautiful summer. And as you are going to note, a lot of individuals that you may be tending to at the close of your summer have a lot of irritation or sense flushing and blushing because of the beauty and the weather that we've been exposed to. So this should help to start to permeate into the skin and help the layers of the outer stratum corneum to receive these calming properties, to receive the acidity that it needs for its healthy mantle. So the test and the efficacy test for you is to start noticing when it starts to get a little bit slow and hard to move on the skin. When it starts to get a little bit tacky and it's not as slippery as it initially was, that's good. That's what we want. That lets you know it is ready for removal. Part one of the pre-treatment to your exfoliation is done. But instead of rinsing, because it's going to shift the skin to alkalinity, we're going to remove the crema acida with our pH regulatora or a pH regulator. Now, I love to use our soft gauze because that's not going to leave any cotton fluff or anything behind. And I've just grabbed two here. And um, I like to use that simultaneously. But however you use it in your treatments, um, however you use that and have learned that in your training, please stick with that as well. And we're going to go ahead and just remove the Kema Achida with your saturated gauze of pH regulatora. 
remember, it is positioning an ideal acid mantle for that skin. Now, what is the ideal? Remember, the PowerPoint showed us it is positioned in between a 4.5 to a uh, 6.5. So any one can be a different pH, but it's going to rebalance it for that particular skin. So that's really important for us to bear in mind as well. So what's ideal for Katie's skin, she's going to feel that. Okay, so with that done and under our belt, we are ready to jump into our exfoliation. So remember, we gotta pull out our Robin. So Robin is our prepping formula before we even go into the use of our Vita Peel. And we're going to be using our prepping formula, which is going to condition the skin, but it also has your astringent properties to ensure that it's defatted or degreased the skin without compromising the skin health. That's everything that we are advocating to ensure that the skin is not compromised, but we, I, uh, we optimize the skin health. So I've just saturated two of my cotton gauze again positioned it between my fingers, or if you're using cotton, that's absolutely fine. And I'm just going to swiftly, quickly prep Katie's skin. And this is not only delivering um, conditioning elements, but remember it is removing whatever could impede the efficacy of our acids from permeating and penetrating as readily and as deeply as we'd like them to go. So that should take a few seconds. Now we're ready to go into our selection of our peels. Now remember I talked about Vita Peel versus Vita Peel Plus. Because I'm getting to know Katie's skin, I'm treating her, I know her very well, but I'm treating her as a first time clientele and I wanna to get to know her skin. So I'm going to introduce not the Vita Peel Plus, I'm gonna go with the Vita Peel. Remember that is glycolic of 20% at a pH of 3.5. So the, the Vitapil Plus is a glycolic, lactic, and salicylic combination at a pH of 3.0. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my porcelain bowl, um, and I'm just going to put a few pumps, two and a half to three, depending upon the um, surface that you're going to be working on. And you'd like to go ahead and grab your cotton tip, your Q-tip. If you have the long ones, those are ideal as well, everyone. But you can also as easily use a bundle of your short, regular Q-tips. So the reason why we are using that uh, is because it's going to help us to apply it in a circular motion. Now, depending upon your training that you've had, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, some of the formulations in the industry require passes or to apply it on in a different format please do adhere to whatever techniques that you have learned from your trainers, from your instructors, um, and it all depends on the formula. But within Dermo 28, ours is a thicker viscosity, so it's more like a gel. And I'm doing a circular motion, and I'm applying it usually to the chest area first, around the clavicles where I like to start, only because if a client normally feels any bit of activity, that's an area that has high exposure to pollution, to sun as well, and um, it also is highly exposed. I can also start from taking it from there, and I'm going to continue to apply it into the forehead area. So the forehead area is an area that if the client will feel any activity, I notice I'm saying that instead of burning, don't wanna say the burning, I know that that's not etiquette. So activity showing that the acids are permeating. We wanna start in the areas that usually could have the potential of more dehydration. The further and more dehydrated the skin is, the quicker it pulls in the acids and sometimes the client can feel that. And Katie, how are you feeling in the chest and the forehead so far? And you're in Tiffany, you're fine? Yeah. Okay. So from there, always checking with your client. From there, I'm going to make my way down the T-zone. So in the nose area, right in the nose wing, right down even around the mouth area and chin, we have a high percentage of sebaceous glands. So usually, depending upon the formulas that you're using out there as well, sometimes 
pilling and um, frosting can happen here quickly because this is an area that pulls acids I mentioned in very quickly. Now we are using acids. This is a thicker viscosity, but remember, um, you can definitely put gloves on as well. So some of your training encourages the use of gloves whenever you're working with peels, and that's absolutely fine as well. Um, it doesn't really replace the, the benefit of human contact. I know that, and as skin therapists, we're all about that as well. But remember, if you're doing peels after peels after peels back to back, you also want to take the precautions and uh, protect your hands. So please remember your training that you would have received as well and follow those protocols. Um, and again, according to your own level of comfort. So on a high tolerance skin, we like to put the VitaPeel or VitaPeel Plus on for about 10 to 12 minutes for high tolerance. She's like, she's not feeling anything. You've deemed she can actually handle a little bit more. Her skin is uh, strong. It's got a good turgor. You can go ahead and keep that on for about 10 to 30, uh, 12 minutes. For low tolerance skin, we suggest four to five. Now, bearing in mind that as you're checking in with the client in between one and 10, how are they feeling? Uh, the client may be feeling any bit of minor activity. Some may feel nothing, especially if they're an avid peel user. And Katie, how are you feeling? Any tingling? Yeah, or, a little bit of tingling. Yeah, and where, in what area are you feeling it in? On my cheeks Okay. a little bit on my chin. Okay, so cheeks and chin. That's why the cheeks are the area that we go to last because that is an area that's highly exposed and you com commonly will feel something. So what I'm doing is I'm just gently taking my Q-tips, no pressure added, and I'm just trying to confuse the nerve endings within her skin to focus on my touch rather than the tingling or a little bit of activity that she's feeling. High levels of dehydration in those areas. Again, high concentration of sebaceous glands in the chin as I talked about earlier. So this helps also. Now, contrary and uh, or rather complementary to that, you do not have to keep the product moving. You can go ahead and keep that on the skin uh, for the duration of time that you feel comfortable with and then add to the client's uh, experience by maybe doing a shoulder massage, maybe a scalp massage. Something is going to add value to her service. You're not going to just leave the room. Obviously, we advise that you never leave the client alone, but this is an area where you can help to stimulate further relaxation. When the client is stressed, it surges up the insulin levels in the skin, and she can actually feel more agitation and more activity. So relaxing the client with a bit of oil or massage medium that you have is always an advantage as well. And rinsing that off when you're ready to start rinsing off your Vita Peel. So because of the demonstration, we're going to fast forward and move on. And we're going to begin by removing the Vita Peel from Katie's skin. Now I have already prepped my cool water. I'm going to be rinsing that with my soft gauze. The reason why we've gone with cool water is because, and I know that you know this, um, a client would have had a little bit of activity. Maybe they didn't feel anything, but you're seeing a little bit of flushing and blushing on the skin. Now, if you added a hot piping steaming towel, that's definitely not gonna work. So we're not gonna use a steam towel. We're gonna go ahead with soft gauze and we're going to rinse fairly quickly. Once you add water, sometimes she might even feel it start to intensify because the water thins out the acid a little bit and the acid blend and the formulation. So now it can actually start to penetrate a little bit more quicker. So we advise that you go in and you rinse three times. If in doubt, why not go in a fourth time? So maximum up to four times cool water to help to defuse any activity, any heat in the skin that you would have been feeling. And we're just going to pay close attention to the nostril areas, any folds, any corners of the face that we might have missed. Take your time to really ensure you've rinsed very well. And I'll go in for my third rinse, three's a charm. And we're going to go ahead and remove every trace of that from our client. So if you were using the Vitapil Plus, exact same procedure, everyone. 
Just keep your eye on any manifestations on the client's skin. Keep your eye on what's going on and how the skin is talking to you. And once in a while, just check in with your client, obviously. She may want to relax, but usually at this phase, she's also coherent and very aware of the activity on her skin. How are we doing now, Katie? Very, very good. Great. Okay. So now that we have achieved a perfect skin, that's what she said, we're going to shift now into, remember, our peels with benefits. Now, if I wanted to proceed from this phase and go right into my complexes and then go into, you know, the rest of my treatment, I could have. But because I want to show you the layering approach, I'm going to introduce one of our pro therapies. Remember we talked about all the varieties that we have and that there are 20 sachets in each box. This that I happen to be holding for you is the comfort one. Now, I, although I saw flushing and blushing, she's not a sensitive skin. So I'm going to go ahead with our aqua, which is absolutely amazing for every skin type because everyone has dehydration. And this one has two sachets, as they all do, except for, um, remember, we talked about the Unica, which has the three. But I'm going to go ahead with my one and two sachet from the Aqua Therapy. And number one, I'm going to just pour that into our um, porcelain jar again. And you'll see that the first one will look a little bit different. I'll go ahead and I'll hold it right up to the camera for you to see as well. So just go ahead and dispense that complete sachet right into the bowl. And you'll see that number one is really your blend of your, um, your acids there. Okay, so that has your acids. It's actually a complement up to 15% acid blend at a pH of 3.5. Now I'm going to add my part two. I'm going to add my hydrating soft emulsion, and that is your green emulsion. So ladies and gentlemen, it's so easy to see the two distinctions because they're both uh, pretty much different colors and you go ahead and you mix them together just like you would a mask and you're going to apply it onto your client just like you would a mask okay so I'm just going to start usually at the chest area and I'm going to apply flat long strokes it's a very thin very simple application because these applications go on so easily it really speaks to the emulsion quality of the formulations. Remember, these are deep therapeutic treatments. Not only are the acids going ahead and helping to correct and repair any damage on the skin, but you also have these amazing active ingredients that these acids are fully pulling into the deeper layers of the skin. You can really take a lot of control around the eye area also. Get that onto the skin where you need to because it's not running like water. It's not slipping around. So we want to take it right underneath the nose area, above the upper lip. Let that sit there. Now, everyone, contrary to the Vita peels that we have just talked about and used, uh, this one you actually do not need to move around at all. You paint it on and you let it sit and it does its own magic. So with that being said, again, we want to recap the benefits of using the layered approach. Um, if in doubt, don't hesitate to feel that you may want to start off with the peel therapy treatments first before you go to the Vita Peel. So for instance, I'm just holding up my uh, Pura package because we have many different kinds, as you know. You may choose to start off just with this as opposed to going with your Vita Peel. But once you're ready to take her game to the next level and up the game of the results in her skin, you're going to throw in your Vita Peel. Okay, or Vita Peel Plus, whatever you've chosen. So always use Vita Peel first, and then you would follow up with your sachet selection, whatever system or collection that you decided to really cater that treatment around. So obviously the time allotment for the pro therapy to be on the skin is exactly the same as Vita Peel. We position it for about 10 to 12 minutes. What will we do? We're obviously going to add value to that service, add value to her treatment. 
scalp massage. Maybe now you want to shift to a pressure point on the feet or something that's different. All I do want to advise is that you want to make sure that you reflect this in your service menu options for your client. You're not giving this away as a basic facial. You're adding and you're at least considering the cost per minute and the cost per use of your product. So if this is about 10 to 12 extra minutes, you would want to maybe tag on an additional $15 to that advancement in her face option. And in your menu, you would choose accordingly. So you always want at least a bare minimum cover the 12 minutes that you're using, but also encourage a little bit more because you've got the cost for using your professional formulations. So depending upon your demographic, you can decide what's best for you. So again, we're going to fast forward. We're going to pretend that this was on for the full duration of time. We gave her a gorgeous massage on the shoulders and into the trapezius. She's loving me head to toe. And now we're going to go ahead and start to remove her treatment. So with this, I'm still not going to go with my warm towel. I'm still going to omit the use of my hot towel, but I do have a room temperature, fresh bowl of water ready for her to rinse this. It would not be the same rinsing water as my Vita Peel, obviously. And I've chosen to go with my gauze again. Now, if in your spas, your skin centers, where you will be working, or if you're going to be um, working with a team of, of individuals and you prefer or they prefer to use towels, you're going to go with your room temperature towel, a cool towel. Again, we do not want to heat the skin, especially when we're doing a peel treatment. Reserve that for your other uh, menu options of your, of your facials. Reserve that even for maybe another body part. What's to say that you can't? Go ahead and finish off with a nice warm steam towel on the back. There's so many options that can really enhance the relaxation and full experience of your client. Yes, even while they're having a peel. See, we love to debunk the whole myth of a peel. And with Dermo 28, it's not about letting it burn. We are here to ensure that the skin is optimized in its health not compromise, but still yielding effectiveness. With one Dermo 28 treatment, you will see ample results. Again, you as a professional therapist, you determine the frequency of how often you wanna keep that client or how long you wanna keep them on a series of a treatment. So we have obviously introduced our water rinsing here. So we need to go back in and we need to obviously tone the skin. So why don't we go ahead and use, and this is where the diversification within our options are very helpful. We're going to use our, um, let's see, I've got it here, our gentle toner. Usually a peel uh, treatment uh, does add a little bit of flushing and blushing in the skin. So this is a nice alternative to my hydrotonic or my pH regulatora, and I'm going to use this to further help to calm and at the same time rebalance that pH, getting it to that optimal level that we talked about earlier on. Remember some of the key ingredients in your comfort system, which is your pink line, is that it does have your ruscus extract. That is essential in helping to strengthen capillary walls. It helps to constrict dilation of capillaries. That's what manifests in redness on the skin. And when we're able to do that, this helps to further heal and diffuse any type of irritation, which is anticipated for some skin conditions, especially after you've given them a professional peel, which is why we're going to end off our treatment very particularly. So obviously we would then proceed into your regular masking. Obviously you do not need to see me apply a mask. You're pretty good with that, I'm sure but you do have some options to choose from within the various collections within Dermo 28, from aging to, to aggressive aging to acne, sensitivity, and dehydration. But I'm going to go towards the end of our treatments, and I'd like to go ahead and use my complex. Remember, all of our complexes are serums, which go underneath your mask or underneath your moisturizer and both. 
I'm going to go with my recovery complex because of the slight pinking, but it's already starting to dissipate. Actually, you may not be able to see it in the lens, but I can see it wonderfully within Katie's skin here. So I'm applying it to uh, the face area, but I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to use another complex for the for the uh, excuse me for the chest area. Because the chest area is highly exposed, especially as women, to um, environmental debris, to pollutants, as well as to the beautiful sun we've been having this summer, I'm going to go with um, a brightening complex. She has, well, I've got a young client here, but she does have a little bit of color and I can see some tan lines. I got some too, but obviously she's had some sun. So I'd like to go ahead and get my brightening complex, which is going to help to reverse and help to repair some of that damage that we have exposed ourselves to in the summer months or with a lot of exposure to um, aggressive free radicals, which are everywhere, really. So we've got our licorice, we've got our bearberry in here. We also have phenomenal lactic acid, which is going to further help to inhibit further pigmentation from being manifested. Now, I'm obviously sharing this with you, um, talking about the products that we're using, but in a real treatment, don't talk the product titles. One of the webinars we're gonna be focusing on and one of our topics is gonna to be effective retailing and ensuring that you're not selling to the client. No one likes to feel sold to. So we really are going to focus on uh, really talking about the ingredients in the treatment, letting them know how we're able to do that or not talking at all because sometimes your clients just want to relax and that's completely fine. So we've applied a complex. We're going to go ahead and finish off with our moisturizer. I'd like to finish off with our face moisturizer from the Pro Age line and this is our Futura. This is speaking to the early signs of aging for the client. It's the future skin. So it has urea, it increases great microcirculation within the skin. It also has your sodium PCA. It has high hyaluronic acid to really help to nourish condition, vitamin C, and it helps to counteract early signs of aging with peptides as well. So I'm applying this to Katie's chest, neck, and face, avoiding the eye area because face creams are not designed for the eyes. I know this sounds like a broken record for us, we know this, but you need to explain that to your clients. It's essential not to have them use molecules that are designed for the thicker skin of the face around the delicate tissue-like aspects of the eye area. So we're going to use a complex for the eyes, designed especially for delicate eyes in a gel formulation, and I've chosen our eye complex, which is from the Pro, uh, excuse me, the Nutriage line, which is effective and so amazing for signs of aging, dehydration as well. And again, my client doesn't really have advanced concerns at all, but I know she's a, a lovely person and she's very expressive with her. So eyes are the windows to the soul. We want to make sure that we increase the elasticity and we help to support further uh, reduction of strength and collagen within the eye area. So I'm just applying that there for us. And of course, there is no way I'm going to let Katie leave my treatment bed without protecting her skin with a full SPF of 50. We advise that you go ahead and you use your Skin Defense SPF 50. And this is for all skin conditions, blends into all skin types and concerns. In fact, the application is so simple that it does not feel thick on the skin at all. Just blend slightly, apply to the chest, apply to the face, and ensure that it's blended naturally into the skin. I love this one because we always advise after professional exfoliation, mandatory SPF protection, especially for the next seven days. Now that should be all year round, obviously. But if they have seen you for professional exfoliation, mandate that they are avoiding direct contact with sunlight, that they are using SPF to protect their skin. I'm talking reapplication and all. Wide rimmed hat if they need to. 
and not about to vacation on the keys of Miami. So obviously, if you know they're going for a vacation, you're going to save the peel, obviously, for a little bit later. But she should be still protecting their skin with SPF. Now, my last product I want to use on Katie is kind of a little secret weapon in my arsenal. This is called our Blemish Balm. It is going to offer an SPF of 15 with titanic, uh, um, excuse me, what's the word? <laughs> titanium dioxide. I was going to say titanic, but we're not going to sink any ships today. So let's go ahead and apply this tinted treatment with an SPF of 15. And we're going to apply this on, which is amazing after a peel, because sometimes you will see a little flushing and blushing, as you mentioned earlier, or uneven skin tone. It helps to just warm that fair up to a medium skin tone, uh, just warm that complexion lovely. And although your client may or may not want to apply makeup afterwards, you're giving her a nice base. She might just want to go with this. And there's nothing wrong with applying makeup after. I mean, a lot of the makeup options right now are healthy and mineral-based. So just bear in mind that this is going to give her that finish, that glow, and that great evening without it feeling cakey or heavy or like a foundation could sometimes feel. And although I'm not going to apply this final product on my client just yet, um, I do want to talk about it because we did focus on peels and professional peels today. Now, this is from our Nutriage line. It's our soothing formula. And I love this as an added tool that the client can also take home if they need to. And you wouldn't apply it all over the face. It's like an invisible glove of breathable silicone that you would apply a little bit on the finger and only focus wherever the skin tends to be a little bit sensitive or tender. Sometimes if the client had a little bit of a tender spot throughout the peel treatment section, and she felt it or he felt it kind of active, just take it in those areas and you want to have her or him feel completely free to reapply throughout as needed, throughout the day as needed. Again, it is not a moisturizer. It's only designed to be a spot treatment. I love it for the corners of the eyes. I love it for right in the nostril area. And I love it especially right around the lower corners of the lips. Those are the areas that tend to be tender as well or wherever it might be for the client. Okay, so with that being said, I know all good things must come to an end, but I'm gonna book her in for another treatment. We have concluded our treatment for today. How do you feel, Katie? Awesome. Like a new woman? Yes. <laughs> so I'm not sure if you can see from your angle there, everyone, but she has an absolute beautiful radiance on her skin. We are seeing just that hydrated skin because exfoliation encourages hydration. It smooths up the skin. She will notice an improved texture. And we have given a kickstart to that cell renewal. So her skin is on uh, a great set and a great course uh, for the next few days. And I'm going to finish off by recommending what she should go home with as well as what she should be um, coming and planning to come back with me for her follow-up treatment. Now that we have gotten our amazing client skin ready for the rest of her day, now let's uh, resume back to why we came together today. Obviously, it's to encourage you with the use of Dermo 28 professional as well as retail. So quick recap, we explored the functionalities and the efficacy of the strength level of the professional acids, really talked about that percentage with the pH level, which is paramount in ensuring the maximum benefits for your client's skin. We also took time to do a quick run through of some key complexes that are going to further your client's consistent improvement throughout the after throughout the after treatment so her home care or his own care now what so now that we've completed our first webinar and there will be many more i just really want to encourage all of you ibi graduates as well as ibi current students who will be graduating at some point or soon um, to really remind you that there is a ibi advantage uh, with dermo 28 
and that is your online orders. So if you need, and you're like, oh, there's some products I didn't know about, there's some products I really would love to get my hands on, I didn't really fully understand that I could yield those results and appeals, um, go ahead and contact us, contact your IBI location, Hamilton, Mississauga, or even your Toronto location. I'm here in the studio at the Toronto location right now. And uh, get a hold of the starter kit information. If you order any one of the starter kits, you get access to ongoing training. So obviously, I'm going to be honored to support you in the ongoing training. Not only does that include the monthly webinars that you could or could not join, um, if you can't make them, uh, you can always request the link and I can send them to you because we will hold them monthly, but it's best to kind of join in and while they're still fresh. And uh, if it's not on the webinar, it can be on site. I can meet you at one of the IBI locations, or I can come see you at your skin center. And if obviously that's kind of out of, the, uh, out of the picture with the amount of demand that we have, we've got this venue. Obviously we can do a one-on-one -on -one training via here as well. And once you order your starter kit, you not only get what you had access to, your IBI um, uh, discount, which was an additional 30% or your student 30% off, but you have now 40% off of your professional and you also have 50% off of your retail. And that's every time you order online. And I'm excited to also share that you've got samples that are available to you as well. And that's great for you to not give away to your clients, but to, uh, you know, recommend them so that they can experience some products that you may really want to focus on. With that being said, we also want to ensure that you are completely aware that our next webinar is going to be happening in September. That's next month. And the date that we've selected is September the 16th at 10 o'clock. We try to shift and really kind of pack all of our content into an hour. Sometimes it'll be an hour and 15 minutes. We don't ever really want to go above and beyond that because we realize that your time is valuable. But join us for our next one. We'll be sending a link out just like we did for this particular webinar. And um, this is going to be all about treating aging concerns with Dermo 28. And it's going to be able to go into more uh, juicy content about the causes of aging and how you're able to guide your client through chronological aging and prevention over correction and vice versa. So that's going to be held on September 16th. We'd love to have you join us. And um, again, look out for that link and that email that we will be sending out to follow up with that. Remember, as always, we always will follow up with a recorded link for all of the attendees to watch it and keep it in your roster. With that said, I just want to take the time to thank you. Again, this is time out of your morning. Really appreciated you even clicking on this link if this is a later time that you're watching this video. Um, we are here to support you. And our focus is to be there, to be a support for you. That's the purpose of this Dermo Connect. If you do have any content suggestions or questions or further inquiries about anything that we covered today or anything about Dermo 28, please contact me at the email that you see visible for you, charmaine at dermo28.ca. That's charmaine at dermo28.ca. I'd be happy to get back to you and to correspond with you. Lastly, promise, we always want your feedback. We value it tremendously. It helps us to get better and more efficient and more proficient for you. So we're gonna be sending you a survey, Monkey, just to get your thoughts, just to get your feedback. And we appreciate your genuine feedback. We value it. And um, we'll be sending that with the link and with everything concerning today. So thank you so much. And I wanna wish you a great remainder of your day. If this is a Monday, happy Monday. And any day of the week is a great day with Dermo 28.